Okay, um, let's head back to Zeiss. Because we have a bunch of different quests to continue in Zeiss. Side quests, I should say. Um, I'm hoping we can turn in the boots as well. And I sort of just want to make sure I don't run out of time on some of these. Let's see. Third floor. I also need to find something cute. something cute. Clearly the weapon store will have what I need. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> oh yeah, I still want to buy one of these, but my money is still a little bit light for that. For, for purchases that don't do anything. And this does something. Let's see, how about the general store? Hmm. No, I already... Is that new? No. I'm sure I did that last time I was here as well. Great gift for a young girl. Well, I already have one, so... I don't really need to buy another, do I? Hmm... Okay, let's do this first. Like, I'm not sure. You know, let's just go for it. Hmm? What is it? I've got a letter for you. Here you go. Wait. Wait. Is this from Private Bram at the Wolf Fort? I think she'd prefer the wolf, the gloves, to be honest. But Grandma wanted me to give her the hat. Or the a cute thing, which a hat is. Hmm. How much do I want a medal here? I mean, I already bought the damn gift. You know what? She's gonna like the work gloves better. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm I think I've screwed up. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I messed up! <laughs> I thought for sure she'd like the gloves better! Oof. Well, too late to fix my mistake now. <clears throat> okay. Um, is it you, Amy? Excuse me, do you have a moment? Your name is Prometheus, right? Ah, that's me. What can I do for you? I just need a few minutes of your time. We're actually looking for a vehicular orbital engine. We were told that you were the man to ask. Well, let me think. 
sorry, but I haven't the foggiest notion. Hmm. I. But that was years long past. I did carry out the task, but I switched duties from time to time. So in other words, I don't know exactly who you'd need to talk to, but it's not me. Sorry. Hmm. I guess we'll ask around then? Uh, what? The capel? Oh! Check the computer! That makes sense. Let's check the computer. The cup computer. Uh, is it the right floor? For no. Let's see, the computer is on floor 5, I think. That's a balcony. Computer! Regale me with your information. Um, I need wheel vehicle. Uh, underground factory entrance. peeved at me, my very beautiful superior. So, did you want something? Is there a love triangle involving Faye? That would be something. A small orbital engine, the kind that fits into a haulage vehicle. An orbital, or an orbit for a haulage vehicle, eh? And what do you plan to do with it? Ah, okay. No problem. You're just looking to swap it out then. That shouldn't be too difficult. Here you go. It's the only one I've got, so make sure you don't lose it along the way. Okay then! We got the thingy. Now let's go to the... Is it the second floor? We'll try the second floor. Nope. Nope. Wrong floor. Must be on the fourth then. It's the only one I haven't been to in this visit, so... I don't know, I suppose I haven't been to the roof either, but... I'm quite certain it is not on the roof. Tomato! Wait, B? Okay. I think I've done that. I climbed a tower. Yes, it looks like the soul has been worn down enough. It looks like I selected poor materials in this mission. Okay, the test was a success. Nope, it all went fine. Well, these are just prototypes. The final project will be a great improvement. Thank you for your help. You done me a big favor. We did it! Yay! Okay. 
Uh, now we can put Estelle in better sh in better shoes. Wait, no, I gave her better shoes to someone else. No. Okay then. Okay, now we'll head back out and get. I I fucked up the love letter. Oh, I feel so bad. This is what I get for meddling. But you know, to be fair, he shouldn't. Have, he really should have bought a gift for himself anyway. It would have been somewhat dishonest to just hand her a gift that we bought for her, as if it was from him. At least that's what I think. Like, there's getting advice for something, and then there's literally having someone else pick it out and buy it. He should know Faye better than we did, so... That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Welcome back! I don't suppose you found a replacement engine, did you? We sure did. I tried everything I could think of to get this thing started, but it was all for nothing. We were just about ready to give up and return to Zeiss. We'll have the horrible engine swapped out in a flash. Good to go! You're young enough to still be in s going to Sunday school, but you're amazing with machines. Well, we're gonna get out of here. You guys be careful. Finally, we can go to the library. Wait a sec. College, college, product testing. I feel bad. <laughs> I do feel like, well, mm, I feel bad. <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't feel bad, but I still feel bad. Anyway, to the hot springs, finally. Oof, it took us a while to get over here. Uh, hmm. Oh, eh, eh. I've been over there. Hmm. Elmo Village. Wow, so this is Elmo, huh? I like it. Feels homey. Uh, what's that smell? Joshua! I guess this is just what happens when the water pours out of the hot springs. Well, if I hold my breath, it's not too bad, I guess. It's not as strong as usual, though. There's hardly any steam coming out. The key to the pump shed is back in the inn. Mrs. Mao has it. We'll have to get that first. Okay. 
husband wants to spend his time training. That's his choice, it sure isn't mine. Hmm. Yep, it's lukewarm. Definitely nothing hot about these springs right now. I heard the pumps are broken and we can't use the baths. It's a shame, but then again, it's also the will of Adios. I thought the hot water was starting to get weaker. But it's all stopped now. Hmm. Okay, wait a sec. Nope, not that one. Approach the man of stone standing in silence within the mountain village pond. My husband and daughter think the workshops, the work stops when they're finished eating. But somebody's got to clean everything up and wash all the dishes. Okay, that's a little passive aggressive, but also I feel like you should just tell them to clean the dishes. I mean, come on. <laughs> getting dinner ready during the post-lunch downtime. Working two jobs can be exhausting sometimes. No kidding. Um... I wonder if it's back there. This is locked. I mean, this is the... I had... I'm pretty sure this is the village for the library quest. But there's no stone man in a pond. Hmm. Oh, hello, Tita. I'm glad you're here. Mr. Murdoch just got in touch with me a little while ago. Is it true that the professor is making you do the repairs while he's off doing ideas knows what? It's not like that. Who's planning to come here until I said something about it? Ah, well, bless your heart, child. But you know you, you spoil that old coot. He's always been the sort to completely lose track of himself. Well, she obviously knows the professor. And who might you be? Pretty much. Well, what do you know? Please do pardon me. I'm the owner of the Maple Leaf Inn. You can call me Mrs. Mao. Russ and I have been friends since we were knee high to a grasshopper. Tita here is almost like my own granddaughter. All oh, right, Mrs. Mao. Is the opal pump really broken? Afraid so, dear. I think the 40-year-old beast may finally be on his last legs. Ah, oh, well. I wanted to replace it at some point anyway. Can you handle it, Tito? You betcha. Hmm. Welcome to the Maple Leaf Inn. All of your, our rooms have special names. This is the user room. That's right. 
It sends hot water to the inn and to the well in the town square. You'd never know it was so old from how well maintained it is. Well, I think my grandpa comes in at least once a year to keep it running. Forty years ago, people didn't really know much about ornaments. So Grandpa created this pump to show people what a difference technology can make in their lives. Let's see. First up is a systems check. And if that's okay, then we make sure there are no problems with the impeller or pipes. Oh, it's fine. This is a one-person job anyway. You guys should just go to the inn and relax. It might be the capitulation in Waterhammer. Hmm. Surging problem! Okay. I've heard the term water hammer before. I know it's a plumbing thing. I do not know what it means. <laughs> Hello, Kane. How's Tita doing? She's hard at work. We figured we'd probably just get in the way, so stay here. Hard to argue with that after watching her work. I'm just amazed that she's working at the central factory at her age. And no matter what, she's always so sweet. Everyone has a smile for it. Always has a smile for everyone. I get her in front of a machine and she'll tinker with it for hours. She loves it. Still. Mm, oh, it's nothing. Hey, Mrs. Mal. I, uh, wanted to ask you about something. Did that lady from Gransel leave? Hmm, a lady from Gransel? Oh, the guest from yesterday. She went out for a walk, but she hasn't come back yet. I thought so. Ugh, this is awkward. Well, actually, I saw her by the gate. You said she was going to go take in the scenery or something. Out of the plains? She'd have to be a fool to go where all the monsters are. You complete idiot. Why didn't you stop her? I did. I mean, I tried. She just wouldn't listen. I don't know how seriously she took what I said, but I'm worried. Do you remember what time you saw the lady by the gate? At least that's when I got back. Well, we're bracers, if you can tell by looking. We'll head out into the plains and find this girl. Don't worry. You've no right to even ask for their help. But fine, the guest's safety is paramount. I hate to impose on you two, but please look after the guests. Okay then? Now let's see. The plain road is so wide. Where should we search? Taking the scenery away from the road. Ah, okay. Well, if I was going to take it to scenery, I would immediately see this lake and want to walk around it. Oh, that's going to be a surprise attack. Only one, though. So, it's, it's fine. It's okay. Hmm. 
Well, I mean, I'm on the path now, and I said I should be walking away from you. Oh! Didn't see you in the grass there, but I guess I snuck up on you from behind on accident. I'll- I'll take it! Frankly. <laughs> Already opened that. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, that's going to be. <coughs> nothing. I mean, I sleep at least 12 hours a day, and I eat lots of veggies, and my skin's all smooth. Uh, wait. Does being healthy make me seem yummier? If I'd known this was coming, I'd have made sure to get paid in advance! <laughs> oh, Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy, Dorothy. No need to worry, Dorothy. What were your names again? Oh, come on! Dorothy! Fancy meeting you two here. <laughs> ha! This is a lot of dogs. Not waking into anything in particular. So... Close and tight to one another. Hmm. damage as I was hoping, to be honest. <laughs> okay, you can do... Really? Still only single targeting. Hmm. Okay, well, I can still hit four of them with this. Ah, uh, that's not good. Ah. 
that is though. And I bet I can even hit... No. No, I cannot hit you both. Okay, well, um... I need to make sure you don't go after Dorothy, so... chase them off, but we did. Did they look familiar to you? Uh -huh. Oh, how lovely. You braces are very impressive. Still and Joshua, it's been such a long time, hasn't it? I never would have thought I'd see you here. Do you think maybe we were destined to meet again? It is a fickle mistress, all right. So, uh, Dorothy, are you staying at the inn in Elmo by any chance? Why, yes. Hey, how did you know? Oh, I see. Wasn't that just terrible? So what brings you out here? A little cross-country hiking, maybe? You mean you don't even know that much? Ha! I see you haven't gotten any more insightful in our time apart. The answer is actually that I'm looking for a photograph that the newspaper needs for a special edition. Oh, and by the way, Mal's the one who assigned me this task. Okay, but why would you be looking for that here? Aw, poor Estelle. Did you get hurt in battle? Pain, pain, go away from the games another day. Or not at all would be better, I guess. <laughs> I'm not injured! I'm just really aggravated at your utter obliviousness! <clears throat> Estelle, why don't we head back to Elmo? Let's go back. Huh? But I wanted to stay and take more pictures. We are going now! Scary! This still can be scary when she wants to be, that's for sure. Okay, and back to town we are. Oh, you know what, actually? I'm gonna do it. I have any one-off healing items, which only restore HP. I do. Okay. Because I want to learn a couple more recipes, and I don't really need to hold on to things that only heal HP. Like... There is no optimal time for those. I have lots of items that heal HP only. Or that do other stuff as well. But I have tons of HP healing items. So. Yeah. Now we can finally use the spa. Yay. Life is good again. Kind of overstating things a bit, aren't you? Do you really like the spa that much? Well, yeah. There's absolutely nothing finer than a tall glass of fruity milk after a hot bath. Now, we're going ahead to get in. We? You mean you. Oh, I just remembered. Guys, thanks for coming to help me earlier. I have all my hands and toes and bits because of you two. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> to the pump. Oh, 
Are you done with the repairs? Oh, hi guys. <laughs> I just finished. I just have to make sure that the hot water is going where it's supposed to. Well, the pump itself wasn't the issue. The crankshaft on the impeller had corroded and broken. I switched out with a rust-resistant one, so everything should be fine now. Okay. I know what a drive shaft is, so I think that makes sense. I don't know what an impeller is. I don't know if I've eaten this before. I guess I have. Hmm. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you, Tita. The pump's pumping like it was just installed yesterday. Please think nothing of it. Well, haven't you grown into a well-mannered young lady? And thank you, too, for helping out with the guest as well. You guys know everyone, it seems. A little bracer business is all. You have my thanks. As a way to pay you back, I'd like to, you to stay here for free. Ma'am? We didn't tell my grandfather we were going to stay. Nonsense. I heard from Russell a little earlier. He said the job would take him until tomorrow to finish. And he asked if you could stay here. What a sweet old guy. Well, if he said that, then I'm afraid we have no choice but to impose for the night. You can put your things in the used room on the second floor. It'll be some time before dinner, so go take a dip on the hot springs. What are you talking about? This is a hot spring resort! People expect you to jump in the bath in the morning at lunch? Whatever! of the cutest place today without even thinking about it. There's still things to see in that souvenir shop, too. <laughs> wow, what a nice room! Miss Mao told me that she was born off to the east. She moved to Liberal with her family when she was little. The village has a lot of people from the same area. Hmm. But before that, why don't we check out the spa we've been hearing about? Do you want to join us, Tita? Okay. We can go after we put away our luggage. Okay, the luggage is secure. Oh, that sounds neat. what I was looking for with the... Hmm. With the book thing. Did you come here for a soap in the waters, too? I just love it here. It's so spacious and comfortable. I just wish staying in the hot water didn't make me dizzy. 
Oh yeah, it just feels so good. And who are you, little girl? I don't think we've met before. I'm Tita. It's nice to meet you. I'm a photographer for a magazine in Grenzel. It's pretty awesome. Oh, uh, right. Estelle, you guys are staying at the inn, right? Why don't we have dinner together? Fruity milk. I didn't even notice this garden before. Hmm. Woodpecker. Well, we have to read that. The herb scenic route is a road lined with beautiful groves of slender trees on each side of its cobbled path. A notable sight frequently appearing in ancient royal court literature. It is thought by researchers that the scenery which knights once laid eyes on was far more spectacular than what is seen today. Sadly, the vivid colors appearing in days of yore have long since been lost. Those awe-inspiring hues of which are written refer to the plumage of a single bird, its name, the herb woodpecker. It is presently exceptionally rare to catch a glimpse of this brilliant azure bird. In fact, its extinction has even been suggested on more than a few occasions. In an interesting light, traditional songs sung by knights of times past make frequent mention of these birds as a common sight. It undoubtedly seems as though there used to exist an incomparably large population, in contrast to the meager numbers of today. This brings us to the pivotal question. What fate befell these birds over the course of the last hundred years? Although the woodpecker is in fact a woodpecker, it does not peck holes into the trunks of trees, the reason being it cannot. In general, woodpeckers use their beaks to bore holes into the boles of trees for nesting, but for the herb woodpecker, this is an impossible task. Consequently, they figure out another way of dealing with this problem. Even if they do not bore the hole themselves, there are many other nesting holes for them to choose from. Herb woodpeckers will observe a nesting hole made by another species of woodpecker. The herb, with a beak perfect for catching insects and his clever ploy of stealing nests, was believed to have the traits that would allow it to prosper indefinitely. A sudden change occurred when a new, larger species of woodpecker came to live in the forest, inhabited by the herb. This larger species had managed to migrate by way of boat from a distant native land. As nautical technology developed and trade began to flourish, the coming and going of marine vessels became increasingly dynamic. However, those who traveled on these boats and ships were not always human. Blending in with various freight and cargo, these creatures from other lands managed to come ashore one after another. With the introduction of this larger species of woodpecker, those smaller species were once at, which were once anemic gradually left the forest in search of new habitats. Life also became, became problematic, as its nesting hole size differed greatly from the outsiders. Despite these drawbacks, it continued to stay in the forest, with the other small species of its habitat being driven out, finding another woodpecker's nesting hole became increasingly difficult. If a nesting hole could not be found, the herb, of course, could not reproduce either. Thus, chances for reproduction gradually decreased. The herb woodpecker, with its clever methodology of using nesting holes of others, enjoyed a brief period of prosperity. However, having abandoned their ability to bore holes for themselves, left them unable to cope with the abrupt changes in their environment. 
On the other hand, those other species of woodpeckers, despite having been displaced, have continued to prosper today. There are many things that we ourselves can learn from these tiny birds. So if you should happen to see one of these azure rarities flying amongst the trees, please remember the struggle they have been forced to endure. Hmm. Huh. Relevant. Joshua, you're not allowed. Ahem. I believe this is goodbye for now. Is this actually out? Hmm. Okay then. Way better than I ever thought it would. I'm not like Dorothy, but I could see getting seriously addicted to this. When I was little, Grandpa used to always bring me here. That leads to the open air bath I was talking about before. It's huge! I bet it could fit ten people at once. Have you been doing all that you're traveling on foot? Why not take an airship? Hmm, for training, I guess. My dad always said it was super important. Yep, Sherry was another student of my dad's. He told her all the time that she could travel by, should travel by foot. You should see the places you should protect with your own eyes. He was big on impressive speeches, but he knew how to back them up when he had to. Sorry, I didn't mean to get all gloomy on you. I'm in training too, and it's not like worrying will do me any good. I guess all I can do is have faith in him. Something that won't matter. No, I'm okay. Oh yeah, I had something I wanted to ask you. Well... <laughs> oh. uh, sorry, I, I must have spaced out. What about me, Joshua? I was wondering if you and Joshua were married. What? 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 Why would you ask a thing like that? But, but you both have the same last name. You don't look like each other at all, so I thought you were. So I didn't think you were siblings. We don't look alike because we're not blood related. Uh, our names are the same because Joshua was adopted. Oh, okay. Sorry, I had it all wrong. Boy, did you ever. Yeah. R right. I guess you wouldn't get married so young, no matter how much you love each other. Hmm. I'm telling you, Joshua... Well, and I are not boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> you get the impression that this is a sensitive subject. We're just family. <laughs> really? What do you mean, really? Uh, sweetie, do you get this kind of vibe from watching us or something? What kind of vibe? Uh, like we're together, as in together, together. Like lovey-dovey, hot, can't keep her hands off each other. Uh, well, no. But, but you're always with each other, and you're comfortable with each other, and you almost finish each other's sentences. Eh. 
Anyway, if we ever did feel like that towards each other... Please don't push this romance angle. I don't like it. Yes! Bad thoughts! <laughs> don't do it! <laughs> I mean, it is an embarrassing line of questioning. And also, hot baths do genuinely do that. Um... <clears throat> Yep. I bet Josh Woods in here. You do know that you're not meant to go swimming, though. Um. It's Josh Ma. <laughs> Savage. Oh. Uh, I. You saying something like this is making it a bit awkward. Uh, um. <laughs> Suffered through a heart attack and all for what? A false alarm. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, the open air bath is unisex. Is there not a sign clearly saying that in the dressing room? I think what she's trying to say is that she didn't notice it. First of all, getting caught starkers once or twice isn't such a big deal that you need to go screaming your lungs out. And I've heard it said that a woman's skin gets prettier when you show it off. Bunch of crap! <laughs> I wasn't out to show off anything to anyone. Well, whatever then. Why not make up and just enjoy the bath? This place was intended for family members to be able to bathe together from the get-go. Now I'm off. It is completely Estelle's fault, but it is also in character for her to claim Joshua. You shut up. You think you're so cute? Well, you're not. Okay, Josh is not playing the, the thunder, so that's good. I'm making a point. Look at me, look at me and screaming the way you did. I never would have dreamed that you'd react like that. Uh, well, I just... It was bad timing, okay? I didn't mean that I'm disgusted at the thought of being here. Damn it, Estelle! Stop being a sunder! <laughs> Sundering. Ah! <sighs> Okay, I'm sorry for laughing. It's just, well, I'm a little envious. I don't have any siblings, so I don't have anyone to fight with or make up with. Grandpa's nice and never mean to me. Mostly because my mom and dad couldn't be there. They've been out of the country working as orbital engineers for a long time. I guess there's somewhere that orbital Orbit technology hasn't really hit yet. I'm not even sure how many years it's been since the last Kingdom's Ice. You must have been lonely. Not really. I'm my grandpa, at least. And everyone at the Central Factory is always super nice. But I still get a little jealous when I look at you two. I'm probably just wishing for something that I'll never, I'll never have. I've got an idea. From now on, I'll be your big sister. And Joshua can be your big brother. 
Ha! <sighs> Always with the grand sweeping gestures. Oh, come on. Are you seriously complaining? No, I feel the same way as you do. I have no objections, as long as Tita's okay with the idea. Well, that settles it then. Treat us like you would a normal brother and sister. Give us y I give you permission to make fun of Joshua as much as you like. <laughs> That's right, the stale is fair game to target too in that case. But, but, is that really okay? I, I'll try. I promise. Okay? Okay. Man, they're so late. <laughs> At least she wasn't drinking sake, I guess. <laughs> After getting out of the spa, a stolen company tried to soothe Dorothy's annoyance with some of the inn's finest cuisine. This is followed by an enjoyable game of cards, after which they returned to the spa. And so the evening wore on comfortably. Okay, Mrs. Mao. We really appreciate everything. Ha! I'm just glad you were able to relax a little. And Tita, you certainly seem to have enjoyed yourself. You all seem closer than you were yesterday. Must be the magic of the springs. By the way, what happened to the girl with the glasses? Dorothy does, like, sleep 12 hours a day. <laughs> Tita, I'd like you to tell Russ of something for me when you see him next. Tell him I said he needs to focus on the rest of his life, beyond all the research. Take care of yourself, Miss Mao. And you need to come visit, too. Sure thing, hon. You're all welcome back here anytime. The baths are always waiting. You can count on it. Absolutely. The food was great, too. Mm. Food. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated. And we never would have come at all if the pump hadn't needed repairing. But I... I didn't do anything. I should be thanking you for everything yesterday. It was really fun. I guess that means we're even. Maybe so. Okay. I think I will stop off... Hmm. I think I will stop off here. Because I've been going for a little while, and also I'm hungry. So, sorry, but lunch, lunch comes first. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed, and... I have a long weekend, so I will probably stream again in the next couple of days. No promises, but probably. Uh, until next time, though, have a great day. Bye!